Good morning, you listen to FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. My guest this morning is John Tolliver, the longtime owner of the Carpet One and Pro Source stores in the Phoenix, Arizona area. John, how you doing? I'm doing real good this morning. You know, I saw you out in Denver at the Carpet One meeting this summer and learned that you had sold your businesses, and I wanted to talk about that. Before we get into that transaction, though, let's talk a little bit about the history. You've had a lifetime career, I guess about 53 years in the flooring business, right? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I started hand-sewing carpet when I was about 10. Uh, Oh, really? I mean, I think that's the way that a lot of us grew up in the industry. How did you end up getting in the business? My grandfather started the business in 1943, and my dad took it over in the 50s. And, of course, when I got old enough to do something, Mom and Dad pretty much kept me busy. Mm -hmm. And so it was called Tolliver's House of Carpets and Draperies at one time. I mean, that goes back to 1966. That predates Carpet One. So you made the decision after Carpet One got started to join that organization. When did you do that? We did that in 1992, Mm -hmm. I believe it was, and actually it was the best decision we ever made. And at the peak, I guess you had, what, five Carpet One stores and three Pro Store stores, is that right? Well, we had at one time eight Carpet One stores and three Pro Sources during the financial downturn. We pulled that back to five and have operated the five over the last 10 to 12 years, uh-huh. along with the pro sources. So you're getting it to retirement age and didn't really have a family member that wanted to be in the business, so you've sold the business. Tell us about that. Well, it was a little unusual because I had not marketed the businesses, and one day I got a phone call. A person that I, I've known for years, Jeff Clark, called and wanted to have lunch and told him, sure, great to visit. So we set a lunch appointment. And then the following day, I got a phone call from Josh Pendergrass, and he wanted to have lunch the following day. So we set a lunch appointment there. And Jeff was inquiring about the pro sources. He wanted to buy those. And Josh was interested in the carpet ones. I really didn't market anything. I really hadn't had any intentions of selling the pro sources at all, and I, I had actually thought about marketing the carpet ones, but I didn't have to. So there had to have been some factor out there, do you think, or is it just a coincidence? I think it says a lot in regards to pro source and the way pro sources operate, yeah. the management support from St. Louis, mm-hmm. and exactly the same thing about Carpet One. Carpet One is very, very smooth operation. And if you follow their business model, both at ProSource and Carpet One, you should be very successful. I think that's really what drove the sale there, along with a a good, clean reputation over 76 years with the Tolliver's name, and about 25 years with ProSource. So these buyers, will they keep the Tolliver name? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's strictly up to them. Yeah. They own Direct Carpet One here in Phoenix. They have two locations. Uh They've been well-established for about 22 years, I believe, with Carpet One, Uh and that's strictly up to them. I actually think it would be advantageous to keep the Tolliver's Carpet One name just because of the amount of referral business that we currently have. Now, is this transaction taking place, and do you have a workout period? The transaction is complete. And my workout period is done August 30th, unless they give me my walking paper sooner. All right, and don't give me the details, but I am curious on the valuation. How did you all figure out what price to pay? We, Jeff and Marie Clark and myself worked out the price on that. And then Josh Pendergrass and myself worked out the price on the Tolliver's Carpet One. We didn't really use any particular type of a formula. We put something together that was good for the both of us, I guess you might say. All right. So there's no, when when you reach out to headquarters at Carpet One, there's not anything where they say, well, it needs to be X times this or anything like that. Well, they did give us a rule of thumb to use. So they gave us a little bit of guidance there. Yeah. CCA Global did help with the transaction in walking us through the paperwork and a lot of the procedures and it really simplified the process you know they've got some tremendous people there 
it was smooth. So let me ask you two more quick questions before we end this out. The first one is, do you think the business that you've sold will continue to offer good earnings potential for years to come? Absolutely. Jeff and Marie Clark on the ProSource side are following the ProSource model, and I see them continuing to grow the business and grow the profitability. Josh Pendergrass is a firm believer in Carpet One, and again, I, I believe that they have plans for expansion and growth within that company also. The external factors, the ongoing competition from the home centers, and then the new competition from floor and decor, those are things that these businesses can build their own competitive advantage? I believe so. The ProSource side is really the go-to source for the professional. And on the Carpet One side, I'm a firm believer that the consumer today wants to deal more locally, and that's what the Carpet One has to offer, Mm -hmm. local professional service. All right. So what's going to be next for you, John? I'm not quite sure. I haven't really had time to think about it. I'm sure I'm going to find something to do. I might need a part-time job. I don't know. Well, congratulations on successfully selling the family business and continuing to build the Carpet One and ProSource name in the Arizona area. Again, but talking to John Tolliver, the former owner of Carpet One and ProSource in the Phoenix area, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.